Hi, Philip. We are delighted to have you as our first guest at the Love Entrepreneur Series for Startup Guernsey. We are on the beautiful Grand Rock and you chose it as your favorite place uh, in Guernsey. Yeah, yeah. Tell me why. Uh, two reasons. Uh, my kids love coming down here to Rockpool in the summer and I actually got engaged here uh, six, seven years ago um, up on the spot right up the top there over champagne and fish and chips. So, so it's a place that's it's a special place. It's very special dear place. to your heart. Yeah, it is, it is. And you have small kids. Yeah, yeah, two kids, uh, Barnabas, four and a half, and Eden, who's two. And then you're trying to manage your own business, being a member at the Chamber of Commerce ICT subgroup, running your own charity and doing all sorts of other projects. How do you manage that? It's just uh, a passion to, to try and you know, get involved in some exciting projects um, and get involved in, in making a bit of a difference in, in Guernsey and, and leaving a legacy for, for your kids and, and other people's kids as well. Tell me about your journey uh, and setting up your business, CBO projects, um, and as the journey of becoming an entrepreneur, essentially. Yeah, so I, I started the business three years ago, and I just, just saw an opportunity in the market for, for an independent project management company. Um, I've been over here for four years working for a company, and it was just for, through speaking to, to clients and potential clients um, and doing some market research, uh, it kinda, I kind of came to the point where I thought, actually, there, there is a gap in the market. Um, for a project management company and uh, when my daughter was two weeks old and my son was 20 months old I, I thought well let's go for it. Best time to start best, a business when you start, have small kids obviously. It. So it was really as simple as there was I just saw a market opportunity. There's lots of uh, budding entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs, first-time entrepreneurs out there. If you had to give them three pieces of advice what would it be? Uh, I think I think the, the first one would be uh, to stick to what you're good at. So if you've got an idea um, and it's something you're passionate about, stick to it. Don't don't go off in different directions too much. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've certainly learned that on my journey. Um, I think the other one is you need to believe in what you do because if you believe in what you do, you can make other people believe in what you do. Um, and I, just uh, I got inspired by a quote um, that says, "If your life's work." Um, if your life's work can be completed in your lifetime, you're not thinking big enough, um, which is quite a nice encouragement to an mm -hmm. entrepreneur to, to also think big as well with, with what you're doing um, and, and leave a bit of a legacy and the purpose of why you're doing it. I think thinking big for entrepreneurs is actually, it's a very important mantra because it's, it's very easy to focus on short-term goals of yep. maybe how to make money here and there, but actually what are the bigger problems we are trying to solve. Yeah. Um, and I guess part of that, uh, you've set up a charity called This is Epic with your wife, Louise. Yes. And uh, you yeah. have some pretty ambitious uh, plans. And uh, so tell us more about that. Um, yeah, so the, the charity is there to basically, we, 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 we're working to, to get rid of poverty. Um, we've got projects in, in Africa um, and it, it, essentially it's helping people save and loan money um, to start their own businesses. Um, so it's financial services mm -hmm. for the poorest of the poor, so the, the bottom 1.4 billion people who live on less than a dollar a day. I think your philosophy is quite interesting because you're trying to teach people to teach themselves. It's all yes. about kind of self-learning as opposed to it's kind of, kind of uh, giving them the tools and teaching them then to it's, to actually learn themselves it. as it, opposed to give them just aid. That's it. It's it's completely empowering um, them to solve their own problems and taking away the dependency that that um, developing countries have on aid because that's. You know, aid is needed, but aid creates a dependency. So we're, we're there to hopefully empower people to, to solve mm -hmm. their own problems. And you're looking to raise some money and you're planning to do it through a very intense challenge. Yeah, at the moment it's looking like a number of marathons in uh, you know, across a number of days in Guernsey. So it'll be a local challenge mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully it'll be something that others can get involved in as well. Well, to get you started, I think we're going to later on do maybe a small mm -hmm. trial. Brilliant. So um, bear with us. What, just a half marathon? <laughs> just just have a marathon around the beach. <laughs> um, and you're also involved with, um, uh, with uh, co-organizing uh, the first TED Talk, TEDx Talk in Guernsey. And as part of this um, project, there's also another very interesting project, um, which is kind of just trying to make Guernsey the best place to live in the world. Small goal, obviously, not ambitious small, enough. Small challenge. Small yeah, I challenge. think you should Thinking really think small. bigger. So tell me more about that project. Um, yeah, so there, there's essentially a small team of us that got together to, to um, put on the TEDx St. Peterport event. And, um, and just, just as, a, as, a, as an output of that, we, we just started thinking about Guernsey and the challenges um, that it faces. And, and we've set up um, the Dandelion Project, which is essentially handing... Uh, or inspiring and empowering the community to solve the problems that Guernsey faces, whether it's mm -hmm. education or transport or energy. 
um, you know, uh, sustainability of the island. Um, w w essentially, we're, we're looking to reach out into the community to to inspire um, you know, small projects to happen in Guernsey that, that deliver change, positive change, and um, and big projects as well in, in Guernsey that, that will deliver change. So it's exciting times. Thank you, Philip. I think that was very inspiring. Thank you very much Brilliant, for yeah. being here and supporting us, and, and good luck with well, all your projects. Yeah, thanks for having me along, Sasha. It's been great. Thank <laughs> you.